Also tonight, taking a big step forward, Philadelphia drops its COVID vaccine mandate for indoor dining. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Masks will still be required indoors. The announcement came as the health commissioner unveiled a new four-level system to determine restrictions. Extreme caution, caution, mask precautions, and all clear. Because of declining COVID cases, today the city moved into the mask precautions level. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts has reaction from restaurant owners and diners. Alicia? Yuki, Jessica, good evening. The hope here in Philadelphia is that more people will come out to dine in now that these are down and these are no longer needed. As of today, we no longer need to ask our city's dining establishments to check vaccines. With that, Philadelphia's health commissioner ended the city's mandate requiring restaurants to validate proof of vaccine for anyone dining indoors as Philadelphia enters a mass precautions only level following a steady decrease in new COVID cases. It was the news we were looking for. Wednesday's announcement comes as the industry sets to mark two years of capacity limits and COVID rules. Many businesses forced to close as a result. It's almost like there was an immediate target put on the restaurants um, because they are known for social gathering places. Something the mayor appeared to be short on sympathy for. If we listened to the restaurant tours two years ago, we'd have 2,000 more people dead in the city. They didn't want to close anything down. And while normal may still be some time away, diners out for dinner at Winnie's and Maniunk welcome the step forward. It isn't a question of showing the card. It's a question of creating an atmosphere that things are getting better, that things are loosening up. While some eateries, including O'Neill's Pub in Queen Village, will continue to ask for proof so patrons don't have to wear a mask. It's emotionally draining every day that you have to do that. Hey, put your mask on before you go to the restroom. Hey, put your mask on before you walk out the door. People don't think about that. Everyone remaining hopeful this year continues to serve up some relief. There's a light. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And the health commissioner also saying today that she is hopeful the mask requirement could be dropped as early as several weeks from now. That would come when new daily cases fall below 100. Reporting live in Spring Garden, Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you.